Welcome to today's topic. It's a probability topic on Bayes' theorem. And this involves conditional probabilities. And we'll, of course, need the expansion theorem. We'll get into that quickly enough. We must start with conditional probability. What is it? The conditional probability of A given B occurs is shown as, and this is a symbol, probability of A given B. So B is something that occurs or something that we know. Uh, to give you a very simple example, I can ask you what is the probability of a deck of cards having uh, the king of spades on the top? Well, that would be one in 52. But if I know the bottom chord is the eight of hearts, now it is uh, one in 51. Or well, if I know the bottom chord is the king of spades, it becomes zero in 52 or zero. So knowing something changes probabilities by having a given fact. This is read the probability of A given B. If and only if A and B are independent, the probability of A times the probability of B is the probability of the intersection of A and B. But if A and B are independent, the probability of A given B uh, times the probability of B is the probability of A B. Because if A and B are independent, A doesn't depend upon B. And if A doesn't have a dependency upon B, it just becomes the probability of A. Uh, well, also the probability of B given A times the probability of A is the probability of A uh, times the probability of B. This implies that uh, this is Bayes' theorem. The probability of A given B times the probability of B is the probability of B given A times the probability of A. The way we would express Bayes' theorem. So we get the reverse conditional probability. And that's sometimes something we want to, to find out. Okay, the expansion theorem is important in understanding Bayes' theorem. Uh, I'm going to give you an example, and we'll go over it and see how it works. An airline has uh, three cities, A, B, and C, with outgoing flights to the same airport. Of the arriving passengers, 30% come from location A, 20% from location B, and 50% from location C. Records indicate baggage is lost at a rate of 2%. If it comes from A, 4% if it comes from B, and 5% if it comes from C. Uh, what is the probability a bag is lost? Well, the expansion theorem will find all the ways. Uh, what is the probability a bag is lost? Well, it can be lost if it comes from A, times the probability it comes from A. It can be lost if it comes from B, times the probability comes from B. Or it could be lost if it comes from C, times the probability it comes from C. So that would be uh, decimal zero two times decimal three, plus decimal zero four times decimal two, plus decimal zero five times decimal five, or it would be lost uh, decimal 0390 or 3.90%. This will give the, this is the expansion theorem of the probability of L or the bag gets lost. And so that's what we mean by the expansion theorem. We take the, all the possibilities and we look at the conditional and we multiply that by the probability the, uh, the condition occurs. Once we have 
the expansion, we can find the probability of A given L. Uh, that is the probability uh, if a bag is lost, it came from uh, airport A. Uh, likewise, we could do the probability of B given L and so on. So the probability of A given L times the probability it's lost, which we now would be able to find, equals the probability it's lost given it came from A times the probability it came from A. So the probability, we'll solve this equation for the probability it came from A given it's lost, and that's just a division. So it's the probability it's lost given it came from A times the probability of A over the probability it got lost. So the probability of A given L is the probability of L given A times the probability of A. And, and the denominator is the probability the expansion, the probability of L given A times the probability of A, the probability of L given B, the probability of B, the probability of L given C times the probability of C. Uh, you might notice that this matches one of the terms of the denominator, but you can't really cancel anything, so it's not that important. So, if a person reports a lost baggage, the probability that uh, of originated our location can be found. So we have some more equations for the probability that it originated at B given it's lost. And we just simply replaced the A in the last uh, equation with B in the numerator here. Or we can do C. So we can look back and find out if it got lost, what's the probability uh, of it coming from a given airport? And we can calculate each of these, the probability of A given L, uh, is the probability of L given A, the probability A, and here I don't need to expand the, prob uh, the uh, expansion theorem, I just need to have that final answer. And so we can do the, the calculation. Uh, likewise here, all three of these, you can calculate any of those that I would like. Now, an auto, uh, an, a second example is an auto repair shop occasionally gets a call back within a week of having it repaired. There are three mechanics, A, B, and C. Uh, a repairs 20% of the cause, B 45%, and C 35% of the cause coming into the shop, respectively. The rate of repairs need, needing additional work for the three mechanics is 2%, uh, 2% 1%, and 1.5%, respectively, and, uh, in the same order. What is the probability a given core is returned within a week? And what is the probability mechanic B worked on it? Well, this is what we know. Mechanic A works on 20%, so the probability A worked on the core is 20%. Mechanic B works on any given core. 45% and mechanic C works on any core 35%. We also know the probability of return if A worked on it is 2%. Probability uh, of return given B worked on it is 1% and the probability C uh, worked on it is 1.5%. Uh, so the probability it's return, you do the expansion uh, it's the probability it was returned given A worked on it, times the probability A worked on it, plus the probability it was returned if B worked on it, times the probability B worked on it, plus the probability uh, it was returned 
given C worked on it times the probability C worked on it. And we plug the numbers in and we find out the chances it's going to be returned is uh, 1.4%. Probability B worked on it would be the probability it was returned given B worked on it times the probability B worked on it over the probability it was returned, which plugging our numbers in, uh, we find it's 32.1%. Uh, and uh, we have to realize that the probability of it, if it was returned, somebody worked on it, we have to add up to 100%. So the other two will give us the other 67.9%. Well, this is a, a very important theorem where we have a conditional probability and we can reverse uh, the condition. I'll look at, at it from the opposite point of view. And so it, it has a, a lot of applications. Now, one of them will be in the Markov process. Uh, I'm planning to put that video up uh, shortly. So I would appreciate if anybody would subscribe to the channel. And you can keep track of when other videos uh, come up or find all the many others that are there. Uh, most of them are, uh, that are written so far in algebra or calculus. And if you in trade, uh, probability is starting to come along and I'm starting to fill in there as well. So thank you.